What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Talking about this uh rumor or rumors that I guess have been debunked and going on and speculating about the trailer being attached to Jordan Peele's Nope next month in July since of course the black phone is coming on. We didn't get anything there. We also didn't get anything of that Megan footage that apparently was expected to be released along with the black phone. So that's two misses as of course related to the black phone not delivering on footage I was expecting. <laughs> but nope, at this point seems like the most likely time they are going to drop the first trailer for Halloween ends. Given that I understand it's not a Blumhouse movie, but I guess in the grand scheme of things, with the expectation of, of course, this being a big universal summer blockbuster horror epic from Jordan Peele, what better movie than to then attach your conclusion to your current iteration of the Halloween series from Blumhouse, who's also getting the movie distributed through Universal Pictures as well, just like Nope, by displaying your first look at the Halloween Ends movie with that movie Nope, which again, from early projections i think is going to have a very big box office opening weekend so not to say that the black phone of course didn't have a big one but you know i think they're expecting there to be a lot more attention with this jordan peele movie and they will want to display the first look at halloween ends and michael myers return to haddonfield and their conclusion to their iteration with this movie to garner more attention you know even drive in more of the box office for nope as well uh so with that in mind a July release at this point is the expectation for me and I know it's the expectation for many others it seems like that's going to be the most likely thing until proven otherwise that the movie's first trailer will be attached to the release of nope in July next month and we'll get to see that footage presumably of what we saw from CinemaCon and see them battle in the kitchen see the recapping of the original 1978 movie and the recapping of what we've already gotten from the current David Gordon Green timeline and jumping into promoting the epic battle conclusion between michael myers laurie strode and then again seeing the kitchen footage and then of course the title card halloween ends this october or something like that to get you all hyped and excited while you sit down and wait for this jordan peele epic movie to start so that's the expectation now for me for many others that's why again not confirmed no one has come out and said that it's official uh just the expectation at this point since the black phone is coming on we haven't gotten anything on to the next universal big blockbuster epic of the year <laughs> not to say the black phone was a blockbuster but of course we know that the movie coming up next for universal would be nope and that's our next chance to potentially have the halloween ends trailer attached to it or teaser rather so all eyes will be on that as the expectation now for the first release of the teaser for July when it relates to the first look at Halloween ends footage being released to the public. Jumping into these rumors that have been debunked. Now, I was tagged in the post on Twitter asking me to do a video about it. I'm doing a video now only because the person who was noted as the source of this claim is stating that it's false and they did not tweet this. <laughs> Apparently what the rumor was uh, is that the movie would, of course, start with Michael Myers already being dead at the start and that the movie will be about Haddonfield overcoming its fear of him with Michael only appearing in flashbacks and visions. Now, of course, it's, let's say that were true. They could still, of course, have the vision aspect of us seeing that kitchen fight. They could explain and rationalize that by Lori, of course, imagining herself getting the conclusion she always thought she would that was robbed from her because Michael died at the beginning of the movie. So she spends the rest of the movie feeling like she was cheated out of beating the boogeyman. And she probably feels like he won in a way because she didn't get to kill him. She probably feels still obsessed with him, feels like he won, maybe still has trauma from what he did not only 40 years ago, but now four years ago to herself, her family, how he impacted her granddaughter if this were true but again they've stated that it's not true they followed up with a tweet sent this is coming from Cinestealth. they said that they did not tweet this it's fake it says tweeted 14 seconds ago yet there are five replies <laughs> three retweets and 14 likes and then he said number two it's stupid so it does sound stupid only off of the basis i'm not saying that you couldn't put on a compelling movie with this but i know what the biggest complaint coming out of it from me and many other horror fans and just halloween fans in general but to be more specific is that this was for the most part let's say a, a good made movie well made but it's not a good halloween movie because where was michael myers michael myers is barely in it 
you're mostly just telling us this narrative about the town overcoming their trauma from what they had to deal with four years ago and 40 years ago as well with Lori being involved in the narrative, Lindsay being involved in the narrative, Allison, of course, being involved with the narrative. So it's just like if you're more interested in telling us something like that. How does that then rationalize the, the Megan Baxter stuff, the poster and the flyer up of that? Like what's going on with all of that stuff? That's why when this rumor came out, a lot of people were like, this is BS because it doesn't really, it doesn't make sense. And it raises a lot of question marks surrounding certain plot points that many of us are expecting to be relevant in the movie. And that's again, not to say that those plot points could in and of themselves just be visions. Megan Baxter, of course, she could still be a character that went missing but Michael ended up getting caught and killed in between what happened in the in 2018 and before the events of Halloween ends. In between those events, he got killed. Maybe the Baxter family tracked him down. But again, we don't have to worry about that because apparently it's not true. <laughs> um, now, of course, maybe there is a chance that it is true. And this is just, of course now being uh some type of damage control <laughs> but sinistelf just to add to that and debunk my own statement there sinistelf as far as i know doesn't have any ties to the production of halloween in sinistelf i know i've talked about this this twitter user in the past they seem to tweet a lot of rumors and leaks but they make it a point to then denounce certain things that they say are not true especially when someone's claiming that they tweeted this out they did not tweet this out according to them so Apparently, it's not true. You don't have to worry about Michael Myers dying early on in the movie. If he were to die early on in the movie, though, do you think that would be able to work in the sense of them being able to tell a compelling narrative that maybe is a toned, watered-down slasher movie because of that? You have you don't have your slasher, your titular slasher for the series. But could you do you think they could still manage to put on a movie that's very compelling, thought-provoking, and, of course, still be something that is entertaining with people just... I guess getting the chance to see different people's PTSD and not just Lori Strode's and then of course shifting and focusing mostly on Lori maybe seeing her have visions of Michael I just think the whole vision stuff Michael not really being there that's the part that's going to make people mad because it's going to be like okay these visions are very entertaining but why are they not real why can't they be more than visions why are you doing a slash movie without Michael Myers <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below again this was debunked if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn up subscribe turn on post notification you can miss a video in the description i link some social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video